If you've ever felt doubts creeping in about your offer, whether that's while you're writing a social media post or in the middle of a sales call, you're not alone. But it's so important to deal with this because if you don't feel confident about your offer, neither will your client. In this video, I'm going to give you some insight and strategies to help you step into being the confident business owner that your potential client needs you to be. I'm Rachel Roberts and I help ELT, ESL and language teaching freelancers optimise their business model, their marketing and their mindset so you can work less and earn more. This came up in a conversation with a client the other day and it's so important. If you don't feel confident about your offer, your client will definitely pick up on this. Absolutely in a sales call, but also through your marketing and copy. I do believe that we put out and can pick up energy from people. But even if you think that that's woo woo nonsense, the things you say or don't say and the tone of voice and the wording definitely do matter and convey their own message. And then there's what you actually say. For example, if you find yourself often jumping in quickly with a discount, you may feel that you're making the offer more attractive. But what's likely to come across is that the offer wasn't actually worth that first price. And that then makes people wonder whether the offer is even worth the new lower price. It basically comes down to a lack of confidence, which might be confidence in the offer itself or in what you're charging for it and whether anyone will actually pay that. So what's the answer? It isn't fake it till you make it because that generally doesn't work. We're much better at picking up on that falsity than people might think. And it's probably not therapy or at least not short term. You don't have to become a super confident person overnight, but you do need faith that your offer can help your client to solve their problems. So the first step, as ever, is to be super clear about what those problems are. This is partly about really understanding your niche or those people that you work with, but it's also about really listening to them. This could be in a sales call or just listening in general to what your clients are saying and to what people are commenting on social media and so on. If you're not really clear about this, it's hard to know for certain that you are actually able to help them and that can undermine your confidence. Then you need to have an offer which you are confident has helped people in a similar situation. Obviously, if you're just starting out, this is a bit harder, which is why it can be helpful to try things out before you fully launch your offer. You might, for example, set up a beta version of your offer where it's clear that people are paying a lower rate in return for feedback and the acceptance of the fact that things might be a little bit rough around the edges. Or you could even offer a few free sessions to start and to do some market research. A few though. Then you can gradually move up the price as you get more results and as a result more confidence. Both you and your future clients need to hear about how your offer has helped people like them. This will build your confidence and their confidence in you. And this is why sharing case studies and testimonials is so important. Repeat after me, this is not about bragging or showing off. This is about giving people helpful information that can help them to make the right decision. If they can see how someone like them in a similar situation has benefited, that makes it much easier for them to visualise how they could benefit too. Remember that you are not selling yourself and they are not spending their money on you. They want to change something and you know how to help them do that. And that's what they're spending their money on. And you're not responsible for making sure that that happens. You can't be because that has to involve them as well. You're just responsible for making sure that you keep your end of the bargain and that what you offer them gives them the best possible chance of achieving those things they really want. Secondly, make sure that you have really clear and repeatable systems in place. All too often people tell me that they're struggling to sell and then I find out that they've actually only posted a couple of times over the last month or they aren't following up with people who've expressed an interest or they don't have a mailing list, which means they're not able to build that closer relationship or they charge different prices to different people so that when someone asks them in a sales call what the cost is, they hesitate and um and 
uh, which does not give the impression of confidence. Whereas if you have clear systems, particularly for managing a sales call, you can rely on these even when you feel a bit wobbly in yourself, because you may know at some level that you really need this sale, but you don't want that to come across. And you also don't actually want it to affect the way that you are behaving in the sales conversation, because that's just going to make you put pressure onto the client, which is likely to have the opposite effect of what you actually want. Your client needs to feel safe and that they can trust you and that you have their best interests at heart, that this isn't about you, but about them. And that is much easier to convey when you're really sure about what you're doing and you know what the next step is. Keep focusing on what your client needs and how you can help them rather than on yourself, your performance, your success or failure in this call. And you'll actually get much better results in your sales because those who sign up with you will get that you really can help them and why you're the right person for them. Meaning that you and your client will also get much better to results in the end. So tell me in the comments, do you ever feel a bit wobbly about selling, whether in posts or in sales calls? And what do you do about this? Check the description for a link to my non-sleazy sales calls mini course. For £17, I'll take you through the system I teach my clients of how to manage a sales call in a way that will leave you feeling good and get the best results. And in the next video coming up on your screen, I'm talking about three key ways to help build your confidence as a business owner.